Hi, John Valvano here, and I want to do assignment one. Uh, now I'm going to make it pretty simple so I can get through. Uh, I'm going to label, okay, so I'm going to double click here on the, uh, on the frame. I'm going to set today's date, all right, by clicking right there, and then I'm going to give it a name, and this is going to be assignment one. Okay, you can give it whatever name you want. Uh, probably a good idea to put your name in there, okay? Just so that everybody knows whose stuff is what. Okay, so as you can see, that's down here on this column. Okay, now the first thing you're going to do is um, delete the items that you don't want. And so, again, to make this easy for me, I'm going to delete the highlight go. I click on it, hit delete, okay? Now, these extra wires I could delete as well. I don't need them. Make sure I don't delete too much stuff up here that I need. All right, delete wires. Delete, click, click, delete, click, delete. All right, click, delete. All right, uh, let's go down here. Uh, there's a couple of ways to do sound. I'm going to do the easy one. Uh, I'm not going to have a jack. I'm not going to use the amplifier, uh, and I'm, but I am going to use the speaker, okay? So uh, learning the shortcuts is very good. And so I'm going to click on this with my mouse, type M, and now I can move it, okay? Um, again, I'm going to select uh, the amplifier. I'm not using it. I'm not going to do... I'm not going to do... Uh, 319H, so I'll get rid of the infrared, uh, get rid of the infrared LED, okay, get rid of the capacitor. Now this I'll leave, that's lab A. Um, these holes up here, are the drill holes in the corner, I'll leave those. And uh, just for fun, I've been deleting, uh, let me show you how to add something, okay, so let's add something. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, this is a a control scroll, and why don't I add an LED, okay? So there's a couple of ways to add LED. I could hit this thing up here, uh, which is an add a component, or if I'm really good at my shortcuts, I'm going to click here and type A, and it's going to add something right there. Now, there's literally tens of thousands of parts uh, to make PCB camp simple, we're going to focus in on the 319K parts. Um, and I'm going to put an LED right there. So once I clicked LED, I can see over here what it will look like in the schematic and what it looks like on the PCB. So I'm going to double click it or OK. And then I got an LED to go right there. Now to make it work, I'm going to need a resistor. So again, I'm going to click here, uh, like in an A, here we go. And I want a resistor, thousands of kinds of resistors, but in 319K, we got quarter watt resistors. Again, it looks like this in the schematic. It looks like that on the PCB. Okay, double click. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to put my resistor here. All right. Now, one of the things you can see here is that it's not the right value, okay? So, to make this LED work, I'm going to use a 470 ohm resistor, so I'm going to change the value here, right, to 470. Now, on the PCP, it doesn't really matter, but for us humans, it's nice to know. All right, so you delete the things you don't want to do, and uh, let me delete a couple of switches. Just to make the, um, just to make the, the, okay, I'll delete right, and I'll delete left, and just have up and down, okay, all right, um, now the next thing I want to do is, is give pin assignments, now the DAC is already done, but I have two switches, and four LEDs, and what I want to make sure is I don't reuse the same pin, okay? Uh, and so I will start, I don't know, I'll start up at um, uh, PA28, 
and look around to see if PA28 is used. I don't see it, so I'm going to use PA28. Uh, I'm going to use PA27, PA26, and PA24. Uh, I'll use uh, I'll use those four for my LEDs. So I'm going to do a click, shift click, shift click, shift click. These are these things that I just selected are pin terminals. Copy. Come down here to where my LEDs are and paste them here. Paste. All right. This is going to allow me to use these four pins. Uh, for the, okay, uh, use these four pins for the LEDs. Now, again, I want to look around, make sure I didn't double count uh, that this pin is used for anything else, right? Because then um, over here, I've got PA18, PA22, yeah, PB18. We're still, we don't see any other uses of those pins. And now I need two um two inputs, two pins for my inputs. All right, so you're going to make sure you don't reuse the pins. 18, shift, click, 17, copy, paste. Okay. All right. All right, so now that I've selected which pins are which, now I'm going to wire it up. And there's two ways to select wires. One is the... Um, one is the wire command here, and the other, as you can see, is the shortcut W. Okay, so I'm going to take a wire, and I'm going to take, and I'm going to wire stuff up. This is this is the way we built it in lab. Click, 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 connect. Da da. Click, click. Okay, the circle means it's been wired up. Uh, and I'm going to do a move. I'm going to move one of these over here so it looks a little prettier. I go back to my wire. I'm going to type W. I don't want to start there. At first, escape. When you don't like something, you hit the escape button. Click and then do a Z or something to undo it. Cancel. There we go. Okay. Click. 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 Click, click. I'm wiring up the switches. All right, now I'm going to connect the ground. Click. Now you can spend countless hours making it all absolutely perfect and pretty. Uh, there's my switches. Let's wire up the LEDs. Click, 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 click. Okay, so these are... LEDs. Uh, now, what color they are, that will matter when I solder them in. Uh, if you want, you can label what their colors are. But so, um, And if you make a mistake or looks ugly, you can just click on it and then delete it and start over. All right. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to do a control shift, which wrote uh, control um, I hit the control key and the roll bar on the mouse to move it over to the side. So again, learning your shortcuts. All right, so uh, I'm doing the control key and I'm rotating the picture over here. Now I'm going to build the DAC. Now those of you who haven't finished Lab 5, will go ahead and finish Lab 5. But as you know, the DAC is a binary weighted DAC. Uh, and I'm going to build it. See, so I made it a little bit ugly. Uh, it's either I can undo it or I can move it. So I, I select the thing and I'm going to click this guy and I'm going to move it down. That was the other way to fix it so it looks prettier. Or we don't care if it's not pretty. Okay, how about that? All right, this guy goes here. Um, okay, so this was uh, two uh, 12Ks in parallel. This is two one and a half in series. Okay, so that's a roll bar. This is my one and a half. And then I have two 
uh, one and a half in parallel. And all the rest of these are going to be my DAC. So I'll go like this, all the way down here. Click, click, and these are all DAC here. These are all DAC. You see the DAC here is these five, these five resistors that create the binary weight of um, seven and a half, seven, um, 750 ohms here, 1.5K, 3K, 6K, 12K. All right, there's my DAC. Okay, so this is a, is a label which will define this, uh, define this trace as the DAC out. So in this simple uh, system I, without an amplifier, I'm going to tie one end of DAC out to the speaker. And I'm going to tie the other end of DAC out to ground. Um, this is my test point. Something weird happens when I try to connect uh, these two together, okay? And you can see that I can click here, I can click there, I can click here, I can, they're not connected. Now, the problem is I have the grid spacing set to, um, set to, uh, too wide, okay? So what I'm gonna do is change it. So under preferences, uh, I'm going to go to the to the grids, the spacings, and I'm going to make the the um, the grid spacing, okay, here to be smaller, okay, so that I can connect wires and devices at a finer pitch, okay, and so now when I try to uh, connect this it's going to allow me to connect it, okay? Um, okay, so that's connected. This is a um, uh, this is a jumper that we saw before, and uh, PB20 is going to be the, um, the, the signal that goes to Texas, and I'm going to have two options, is I'm going to allow the, um, allow the, the user to connect up the DAC to the to the uh, oscilloscope, or connect up the solution to lab uh, seven, which is this slide pot. So I'm going to connect these three pins here. Yeah, missed it. Okay, you see I missed it. I didn't click close enough. So I'm going to do a Control Z. All right, start over. Click, click. Now, sometimes you got to zoom in so it, it hits it. All right. And so this is the measurement of, um, this is the measurement of distance in the lab, uh, in the lab seven. Uh, and that's a, this guy up here is a test point, And here's the pin to the A to D converter. All right. Where am I going here? All right. So I'm pretty much done. Am I not? I'm done. All right. So I just completed uh, first assignment, okay, uh, and I will save it so it doesn't crash. And then the last thing you can do before you submit uh, the assignment is something called an electric, um, a electric um, rule checker, okay, and you might get a lot of errors. Some of them mean something, some of them don't. And so we're going to, yeah, we're going to look at them, okay? And so this is where it takes a, a little bit of expertise to decide if um, I've got a ground pin which doesn't match power. I don't, that's not a problem. I got uh, PA15 is a pin that I never used. Uh, PA24 is a pin that I never used. These are all unused pins on my microcontroller. Uh, ground is not called power. Another unused pin, another unused pin. Um, the symbols don't match. Um, that's probably my fault, I'm sorry. Um, 
This was an interesting one. Oh, yeah, look, there's an actual bug. There's an actual bug. It looks like a symbol or wire is off. You see that? If you zoom in here, you can see I made a mistake. Okay. That's an actual mistake. Uh, and so we're going to fix that. Right here, I forgot to wire up the other side of the jumper. So W for wire. Uh, see. Okay. Click. Click. Again, this allows me to either connect lab six or lab eight to the oscilloscope and we'll run the inspector again all right run inspector okay and now uh, those are all the labels we saw before and again we're looking for things that aren't that don't match and it looks like these are all syntax problems and how we labeled the pin okay so now you can click on them if you want, and it'll tell you where the error is. But in this case, what we have is just a, um, you know, it's just a under misunderstanding of what things are called. So go ahead and run this. If you're not sure whether you can ignore it or not, uh, go ahead and ask. Okay. So I'm done with assignment one. I'm going to save it. So I need these four files to open up your whole thing. All right, that's assignment one. Uh, then in assignment two, we're going to go move on to the PCB form.